sir. Thanks very much. Excuse me for just a moment while I end this screen show because I'm very proud to say in my entire career in IBM, I have never used freelance, okay? Thank you very much. Um, as Michael said, my name is David Barnes. As John said, I'm not exactly shy. Well, I have to disagree in that I worked for John for several years and I never asked him for the raise that I wanted, okay? I think that would constitute shy. Um, if I can take over from microphone, dictate to speak pad. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, period. As Michael said, comma, my name is David Barnes and I am the lead evangelist for IBM Voice Systems Group, period. New paragraph. Although voice technology may be, quote, new, quote, to many of you, comma, the fact is IBM has been continuously funding the research of voice recognition technology for over 40 years, period. This is the longest continuously funded project in the history of IBM, period. New paragraph. So, comma, you may be wondering, quote, why am I hearing so much about voice technology today? Question mark, quote. New paragraph. Well, comma, there are several reasons, dash. New line. Bullets. Microphone technology has improved significantly in the last few years. New line. Processors are extremely fast. New line. Memory is cheap. Open parentheses, at least inexpensive. Close parentheses. New line. And our technology has improved significantly. Open parentheses, matured. Close parentheses. New line. Bullets. New paragraph. Now, comma, if you really want to be impressed, dash, new line, please write a letter to Mr. Wright right away, comma, and tell him that two o'clock is too late to meet, period. New paragraph. I left the hockey game during the second period, period. New paragraph. All your base are belong to us, period. Microphone off. Now, that's an example of That's an example of where the technology is today and there are no tricks involved there but I want to tell you that that's not the technology that I'm about to talk to you about. That is a large vocabulary continuous dictation product. Large vocabulary, 160,000 word vocabulary. Consider we are doing statistical probability analysis in real time on 160,000 word vocabulary while I'm speaking and we do that in 13 languages. Consider the average US vocabulary is 5,000 words. Consider I live in Texas. Okay. We actually have the technology to be able to compensate, so should the president decide to invent any new words or new grammar, we can compensate for that as well. Now, that's, re that's really cool technology, and it really does work, but it requires that I learn how to use it, and it requires that it learns my voice. That's not the technology that we IBM Voice Systems Group are focusing on. Yes, that's our technology, but we've taken what we learned there and we've applied it to a non-speaker dependent, smaller vocabulary environment so that we don't have to train the user, so that we can put voice as an interface in front of our IT applications, etc. Now, I want to show you a device which we've created, which takes that technology significantly shrinks down the engine and uses that technology to drive a work pad, a Palm Pilot, a small handheld device. Now, I'll show you this technology. Before I do, let me just pop a picture of it up on the screen. This is the IBM Personal Voice Assistant. This device actually integrates with the Palm Pilot by hacking into the serial port. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick a speaker on here so that you can hear what this device says and give you an idea of what it can do. Ready now. Address book. 
Find Smith. Ed Smith. Five 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 six three five five. What is the address? Thirty four Hickory Drive, Millville. When is my next appointment? Six p.m. Dinner with Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Cannot forget that one. Now notice that I just went to my appointments, but I'm still in my address book. That hierarchy of having to step from interface to interface, that's a limitation of the graphical user interface, a simple limitation of screen real estate. With voice technology, you go directly to the application you want. To-do list. Top. A fatal exception zero E has occurred. Due to operating system limitations, I am unable to display the blue screen of death. Blue screen of death. Blue screen of death. Oops. Translator. Now, what I just showed you, those are standard Palm Pilot applications that we've taken voice and we've enabled. But now voice enable allows us to do some new things. For example, Japanese. Translating to Japanese. Can you show me on the map where I am? German. Translating to German. Würden Sie mir bitte auf der Karte zeigen, wo ich mich befinde? I'd like a single room. Darf ich bitte ein Einzelzimmer haben? Spanish. Translating to Spanish. Quisiera un cuarto sencillo, por favor. Can you change a traveler's check? Puede usted cambiar un cheque de viajero, por favor? Speech suite. How do you feel? My battery is at 58%. Power off. Power off. Now that is pretty cool technology. Our objective is not to sell this device. We're a software group. Our intellectual properties are the patents that underlie that voice recognition technology. What we want to do with this is illustrate if I can do this with a Palm Pilot by hacking into the serial port, a work pad, then what can I do to other devices? And by the way, this is an early device. The new devices have enough CPU power. I don't need this anymore. I just put it directly into the device. So if I can do this with this, then I can certainly do it with my VCR so that I can walk up, press a button and say, record the lone gunman Sunday night at 8 o'clock on Fox. And I won't have to do the programming. And really, we sort of get a chuckle out of that, but that's exactly where we're at with the technology. Now, that's putting the voice recognition technology here in a small embedded device. We IBM do that. Now let's look at putting the voice recognition technology on a server out somewhere else. Welcome to the Banking Center. All of our operators are busy at the moment. Your wait time will be about five minutes. Look up IBM. Remember, all market data is delayed at least 20 minutes. IBM, last sale price, $96.69. It's down $1.69. What are my choices? For stock quotes, simply say the name of an index or company. For news, say stock market update. Business news, headline news. Headline Nash news. Okay, you got it. Here is the headline news update for Wednesday, March 14th. Skittish is perhaps the best word to describe Wall Street investors okay, lately. Bye. Let me know if you'd like to hear another news category. Oh, I think I'm out of there. <clears throat> It's funny that we all use demonstrations that look at stock market indicators. I think we're going to stop that. I think we're safer with, uh, with weather, which you'll hear about a little bit later. Now, that is what a business partner of ours, General Magic, did with our technology that they slightly extended. They added in some prompts, but the underlying technology is IBM's voice recognition technology. Our objective is to have people like you and business partners extend our technology. Let me show you now what you can do with our technology out of the box.